All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. No time to spare here. Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy out. And let's see what they've got for us. In mere moments, we shall see. Does Goku have what it takes? Uh, let me just go spam this. Here we go, boys. Sorry, I'm late. I'm always last minute. Here we go. All right. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at what this update has in store. Okay, we got the sneak peek. True. All right, we got the little loading screen. True. True. We need a little bit more than that. All right, we're gonna see three RL here in a second, probably. Hey. Greetings, agents. <gasps> this is your community manager, three RL. And with me again, we have the announcer. Angel. Hey, how's it going, everyone? I and hope you guys are as excited as we are for this new set of trivia questions and some exciting what? new content around World Boss. So yeah, take it away, Thorell. Let's All go. Righty then. We're going to open up the live stream with a little bit of a surprise reveal. I was right. Uh, if you saw the live stream announcement banners, we're actually giving away some small hints. We prepared for the April Fool's Day special uniforms. So let's present one last little hint. Yo, yo, new April right. Fool's look. There you have it. Maybe you've seen them on Twitter or on other channels, but uh, yeah, let us know what they're saying in the comments, announcer. Yeah, some people are, are telling us uh, tech production reviewer channel says, come on devs, don't let us down. Uh, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Sean Jason says, Satana, question mark. Uh, yes, Dr. Meme like says, Satana, Angel, Satana April Fools, question mark. Wow. So, yeah, there we go. There like, we go. All yeah, right. they're getting some good guesses. The heroes for the April Fools' Day special uniforms are indeed Angel and Satana. Wow, Angel and Satana. So it means oh, Angel Tier right 4. Then. Yo! Uh, let us know what your thoughts are about Satana, That's the crazy. one who's become an angel, and Angel, the fallen one. Angel Tier 4. A devil. Boys. Let's see what some of those uh, chat responses yeah, as you Angel remember, we've done this a lot in the past, like with, uh, I think we did it with Thanos and Squirrel Girl, so that's yeah. kind of the continuing Whoa. thing. It's kind of cool to see the juxtaposed position of, like, Angel becoming super Oh, evil. shit! He looks Satana jacked! Really angelic. Yo, yeah, he looks really sick! Like her, the uh, fallen the one! Well, hopefully uh, the players are excited for that. Um, yeah, let's jump right into Huge it, Huge reveal. We? Oh, <laughs> oh, shit! Next up we will have um black swan the Satana new super villain huge. in world boss oh my with god with her joining marvel future fight the black order has been completed uh coming up in today's stream we'll learn more about black swan who is not only the new world boss but also a playable new character right off the bat right off the bat and lastly nice. we have thanos the leader of the black order and once a wise harvester He's returned with a new look. Uh -huh. He's retired. He's gotten him out of retirement and ready to kick butt. True. So we hope you're excited about uh, the new update as we dive into the details of the March Black Swan update. Wow. I'm also excited to announce, as always, we have some brand new trivia for you. Brand so while trivia. we showcase the characters and update, the announcer will kind of Odd. test your skills. Um, then this means you chat. So be ready to answer with some Marvel lore. And as always, we prepared the gift for agents who watch the live stream to the very end. And just the one last note we always kind of give you is please note the footage presented in today's Uniforms uh, look great. build is a test build and there may be differences from the actual update. And with that, let's get into the details of this March update, shall we? All right, let's see what we're getting. Let's see. Let's see it. Okay, Black Swan. True. She's speed type. Wow, speed type native tier three. Wow, Thanos tier four, okay. We knew that. Angel tier four, wow, back-to-back -back speed types. Satana tier three. Oh, Satana transcended, probably with Hellstorm. Oh, wow. Okay, back at it. Our tits are huge, Let's what the hell? check out the first look of the new supervillain, Black Swan. Announcer, Black Swan's tits look thoughts? so weird. I mean, she looks really epic, really menacing. I gotta love that. Don't her tits look weird? Red lasers coming out of her eyeballs, dude. That's pretty sick. Uh, yeah, wouldn't want to get 
on her bad side. All right. So Black Swan is a female alien supervillain who has destruction in her instincts and has right. been released as a powerful native tier three hero. Uh, wow, Black tier Swan three will show her powerful abilities in PvP wow. and has a tier two passive that ignores basic attacks. Uh, Black Swan attacks with what? energy blasts from her eyes, as we saw the little red beams there, PvP? and attacks in a wide range by manipulating her enemies with telepathy with her tier three skill. And we'll go ahead and be revisiting the supervillain later in the world boss. But let's go ahead and we'll check out her passive as well, shall we? Um, her first passive is called Uncompromising Precision. Um, try to say that five her times eyes fast. Look cool. um, this applies to self, a chance to penetrate, super armor, barrier shield, and all damage immune as well okay. as invincible. And super armor, increasing basic defenses and increasing skill damage and bonus classic damage. PvP set. Her nice. second passive is called Brutal Incursion. This applies to self, increases additional pierce damage, and decreases basic damage received. Wow. And has an activation rate of when HP is below a certain percentage. It applies to self, ignoring basic damage for a period of time while increasing basic damage and reducing damage taken for every time, uh, ignoring enemies' basic attack. Whoa. And her leader skill is called Lone Swan. Kind of like Lone Wolf, but you know, she's, a, she's Black Swan. Nice so. 3RL. Um, this applies to all allies and removes all debuffs. Classic debuff leadership. There you have it. There's our first new. look at <laughs> Black Swan. And so with that, we're going to jump into the first bit of trivia. Announcer, take it away. All righty, guys. I hope you have your Marvel lore uh, cap on so hey let's take it away with the first question Marvel the first Lord question cap. we have is black swan was imprisoned by which secretive organization yeah it's definitely not the fbi so the let's Illuminati. get some answers in there let's see what black swan was <laughs> imprisoned by which secret organization take it away three rl Alrighty, while you're uh, getting the answers in let's take a closer look at this powerful new super villain shall we no one cares they just want to see her tits yep i feel you chat i feel you those things are heaving bro there we go Got the full entrance and everything. Let's jump straight into her skills. Can't believe they made her speed. That's so First awesome. Up, we have skill number one, which is anti matter punch. This is only the second time they've made a native tier two or native oh, tier three speed, speed type. There. I know they made. There's a little bit of some kick action in there Corvus too, but. Into a speed type, but he's not yeah, normally speed. He's a universal, right? Cool. So it's just Quicksilver. Anti matter punch one. also sounds like some kind of mixed drink you might get at a fancy party. Uh, this causes uh, okay. stun as well as some energy damage and additional energy damage as well. Skill number two, Skill two. is called Doomsday Gaza. And we're going to turn on AI for this. I'm sorry, what quick. is it called? You go one more time. I think he meant time. gaze. No way he said Gaza. Bad angle. But that's okay. We'll do it one more time. Just that was a that was a bad. There we go. That's better. It's got to be gaze, bro. Um, she's this counterattacks when defending against the enemy attack and enables uh, attacking enemies who have activated the ignore. No way. Effect. Um, no it way. applies burn, stun, okay. and removes active buff from target okay. as well as paralysis. Cool, cool, cool. Also has a uh, hundred percent chance to grant all damage immunity and targets the ignoring targets. Okay. All right. Skill notes. Turn it off so we're not just getting shot everywhere. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> I kind of like it. It looks cool. <laughs> we are. Uh, we are all right. Skill getting, number three not is called tonight. Death Pirouette. Death Pirouette. Right, let's okay. Check it out. Menacing red orb. Oh, that looks sick. That's like a uh, gladiator skill. From the sky. I would say in this update, I really like all the little. Uh, animations of some of these skills all right death pirouette applies burn stun and capacitation uh, applies barrier and nice. accumulates pure damage when attacking accumulation uh, increases all basic attacks by percentage of damage damage accumulated all right this next one is called interdimensional destruction they're all nice and gathered up for me i think last time i did this in the test it kind of moves people out let's see oh yo Ooh, cyclops beams menacing, dude, I love yeah, that. it's kind of like cyclops eh um, interdimensional destruction applies burn cool. and fracture as well as incapacitation, which removes active debuff from target as well as paralysis that ignores immunity. And it also grants invincible and barrier. Nice 15 right, hit barrier. Wow. Nice and lined up here. She's going to be Check a out headache. skill number five, 
Skills make me think she had some kind of dancing background. This because this other one's called Dance of the Black Swan. I mean, they're in a circle, ready for a yeah, dance. Let's dude. go. Let's dance it up. Do you know the Dance of the Black Swan, Three Arrow? Uh, it's kind of a it, weird skill after all the energy-based beam shit. I don't know if I want to dance the Black Swan. I feel like she's very intimidating. It but looks cool know. though. I like how the beams. This come move up at the end. causes burn, stun, and paralysis, and decreases all basic defenses by a percentage. Mm. It increases. All basic attacks, defense, speed, and crit rate by percentage while removing capacitation. And lastly, we have her ultimate skill. Alt. Now everyone is very spread apart. Well, yeah, no one wants to dance <laughs> no with her. No one wants dude. to dance with her. <laughs> They're all afraid. All right, this one is called Queen's Apocalypse. Let's check it out. Apocalypse. It's oh shit! Another throwing, chair. Throwing down. Oh, shooting Cyclops. fire from eyes. <laughs> Yeah. That one's sick, dude. As you this is like Madeline Pryor right? Cyclops vibes. This uh, applies fear, silence, and incapacitation, uh, as well as invincible, increasing basic damage by 100% for one attack and increasing all basic attacks. It's okay. All right, we're going to jump into the combo. I've been hit or miss in the, the last The two rehearsals. uniforms, guys, are for Satana. Uh, really trying to practice Satana as always. Satana Angel. Um, Three RL, you got this, let's bro. Let's go. go. I'll leave okay. her second skill has um, iframe ignore. Dev recommended combo for the one we're going to show us. Three, four, and five. All right, let's see if my timing has got any better. Hey, hey, there we go, there we go. Hey, Ooh, one for one. For Let us know in the comments 85? before we okay. get there. Let's see if anyone has some could of be, those answers. Hit me, announcer. All right, guys, so I'm seeing a lot of interesting questions here in the chat. Uh, the question was, Black Swan was imprisoned by which secretive organization? Uh, uh, excuse me if I'm not pronouncing your guys' names are okay, but uh, the first question answer we have is Miriam Katoon says the CIA. That's close to the FBI, but nope, that's not it. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Fex user says Black Order. Um, unfortunately, uh, that wasn't. She wasn't in prison. One. The correct answer is. Let's see who got the first one. Torch Torchy says Illuminati. That's oh right. man, Ooh. she was in prison by the secret of right. organization, the Illuminati. Scary in both nice. worlds, I guess. That's yeah, like, just like you know, IRL. Illuminati. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for that chat. We appreciate you. Let us know if you're excited for Black Swan. Goth mommy. Hell yeah. All right, what's next? Oh, Angel. All righty. Next right. up, we oh, have shit, look at Thanos. Angel, who has received a new uniform and tier a four upgrade. Damn. Angel, even though his name indicates someone who might have shown some angelic appearance, has become the Fallen One. And take a look at his devilish look. Get it, guys? A bit he's of an angel, so they turn I will him say into he devil. is definitely ripped. Man, know. look at those abs. Because <laughs> it's April Fool. You could wash some clothes on those abs, dude. Look at the little tears in the wings. I never really noticed that the first That's time. Cool. It's, it's kind of cool. Really dope to see Angel like so menacing and evil, bro. Yeah, bro. Uh, Angel will be useful in PvP say. as he can remove debuffs of allies mm -hmm. with his awakened skill. PvP. He can reinforce and heal himself with his tier 4 skills as well. And his first passive is called Aura of the Fallen. This applies to self, ignore target dodge rate by percentage as well as super armor and increasing all basic uh, defenses by a percentage. True. Then his second passive uh, is called Dark Judgment. Also applies to self crit rate increase by percentage, increasing guaranteed dodge rate, as well as increasing skill damage and bonus damage. Okay, and okay. Lastly, we have his leader skill, which is called Devil's Salvation. Applies to all allies, a percentage increase of recovery and dodge rate. All right. Ready for the next uh, bit of trivia, everybody? Lay it on me, announcer. All right, guys. So, are there any Angel fans in the in the chat? I just know I off am. The ads. <laughs> We're not talking about the baseball team either. No, so. no, not the baseball team. Uh, all right, guys. The question is, what is Angel's real name? Uh, I think Three RL has a hint for you guys. Uh, so, what is Angel's like real name? Covington right. so or a quick Worthington. Hint. The quick hint is there. His name consists of four different parts. It's, it's, um, he's like a rich yeah. guy. So while you figure it out, we'll take a look at his abilities. Warren Worthington the third. Yeah, he looks some Let's rich go. waspy dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. True, true. Warren Worthington. Like yeah. his little, he kind of flies in okay, left, nice, right, nice. little circle going on here. There's no more ads, guys. Right. Stop, stop crying. First stop up, bitching about the ads. Skill number one is called Devil's Charge. There's no more ads. You're just crying Let's about turn it for nothing. Off the countdown, as always. Announcer, right, let me know which of his skills is your favorite. So keep you on your toes. All right, skill number one, Devil's Charge. 
Okay, remember they said PvP. On this one. Um, oh, this one applies stun as well as some physical damage, of course. Skill number Dude, he is two. quick around yeah, that no, field. Yeah, no, he really flies fast. really fast. I don't know if there's... Anyway, yeah, he's, he's real quick. Really fast. Um, Not that right. it matters Skill that much for two, PvP. Skill number two, Hellish but... Descent. They didn't mention his so leadership. A better tread on these guys right in the center. Oh, it's okay. Here. Skill two. Okay, that looks okay. All right, this causes burn, fracture, and paralysis, as well as some physical damage. Keep getting All right. spread out. We got more viewers than Over the here, official stream. Group. Skill nice. number three is called Angel's Fall. Okay. Ooh. Okay. That's a lot. That's a long yeah, animation. That's pretty intense. That's probably my. It's got accumulation as well and a um, frenzy buff. He like literally repeatedly is like slamming one, two, three, four. Yeah. Hopefully five. you can like, yeah, just like cancel that maybe. I don't know. End there. That's a fun one. Uh, Angel's Fall applies bleed and removes elasticity, a stun, incapacitation, and removes active buff from target. Applies itself a hundred percent chance to grant all damage immunity and accumulates a small percentage of damage when attacking. And there's a small percent increase of all basic attacks for each percentage of pure damage accumulated. All right, hold on. We're going to just line them back up. There we go. Okay. All right. Skill number four, Demon Feather. Oh. I really like all the particles for this one. Okay. Think okay. It's like a yeah. sword or something. That looks cool. I love skills that just burn up the ground, dude. That just like yeah, that. it's like an all-out. Like it reminds me of a certain uh, other game, but yeah, that's a, that's a great uh, skill. Demon's <laughs> feather applies burn game. paralysis yeah. and increases all basic defense by a percentage and stacks while ignoring immunity. It applies to self uh, a recovery of HP, well, as well as invincible, and increases basic damage got a by proc, invincibility and attack. a heal. Mm. All right. Skill number five. Are you ready for the next one? We got Voice of the Corrupted. All right. Like Sounds cool. Bad. I know. Introducing Voice of the Corrupted. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like Jean Grey's fifth skill. This oh, one causes shit. silence and incapacitation, removing active buff from target. Let's check out again, shall we? Another uh, juicy as well as recovering buff. percentage of HP and increasing all basic attacks and defense by percentage, speed, and crit rate, as well as removing Ooh, capacitation. Another heal. All right, and then we have his awakened Don't skill. know if he has any iframe ignore, though. Oh, uh, beast. I have a couple friends and... joining in on this one, but it is Angel's Advent. Oh, right, no, we, I was going to say Beast and, si and Bishop, they already have awakening skills. Oh, right. It was Beast. They, uh, they, he got his awakening a long time ago. Yeah, right, right, right. Oh, right, that's right. sick, dude. I completely forgot about time. that. I like that one. Uh, Angel to Advent applies stun and applies to self critical rate increase, damage increase, ignoring target dodge rate by percentage, and a chance to penetrate with super armor, barrier shield, all damage immune and invincible, while granting invincible, removing debuffs, and increasing all basic attacks. Uh -huh. And lastly, we have his uh, little striker skill here. It's tier four, um, yeah. Is called Wings of Mutant Will. Let's check it Wings out. This is a pretty mutant. quick one, but it's pretty fun. Increases all basic attacks, decreases damage received by reflect from reflected effect, rejects all attacks for a few seconds, and recovers a small amount of HP. What? All right, enough of his skills. That sounds Let's go back busted. over to those combos. All right, will Healing? we go two for two? two will for two I fail miserably? Increase damage, no. rejects all um, damage. What does that mean? In the meantime, get ready to. And uh, it reduces chat reflect. Those, so uh, maybe answers. maybe this is like a silver right, surfer three, counter five, already. Four. What is rejects all attacks, bro? There we go. Oh, two two is he proc friendly? Easy, Let's go. go. Three RL. It really bad. helped me when I started. Like, so hits. I used to kind of just button mash a little he bit. Says no, three, to three four, five. <laughs> but really, uh, after watching uh, Cynic Alex's videos and watching how he does some of his his stuff, I was able to you know practice a little bit. All right, we did it. Let's jump over to the uh, trivia, touched. shall we, announcer? I appreciate that three right, RL. So there's a ton Much of love, Angel fans in the chat. The question was, what is so Angel's think, real name? All right, let's see here. We have uh, Ira Wan Harainato says Gabriel Michael. Nope, that's only two parts. Remember, 3RL <laughs> gave you the hint for four parts to his name. Ozan says Angel fan. God no. So I guess well, they're not all they're not all Angel fans. Rude. Damn dog. Uh, Mogul Chrome says goat. Anthony. Nope. Uh, Hernan Gomez <laughs> says Juan Carlos. That's three Juan Carlos uh, Anthony the third. Let's see. Somebody got the real name. Somebody got the real name. Oh, here we go. Mohammed Ez Eldin says Warren Kenneth 
Worthington the third. Muhammad so, with yeah, the clutch. That's definitely go. a four-part okay. game. Maybe it was a little chat more challenging. His name yeah. sounds like he's real fancy or he comes from money. Oh, definitely yeah. money, dude. Yeah. Anytime it's the third, you have to say it in that. <laughs> the Warren third. Kenneth Warrington the third, but you can call me Angel. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they got jokes right. this time. They're vibing. Well, we hope you like the irony Three of RL the announcer. devil like look. They're vibing, dude. His full government name. That's good. Oh, righty. On the other hand, we have Satana, who has ascended and turned pure white. Yeah. I really do like her her look here. Um, didn't really know much about this character until this next update. But, again, I'm a fan now. Um, let's see. Along with her new look, she's also received a potential transcendence. Um, and this look of Satana is good. She's going to purify her enemies with sacred white flames resembling a seraphim. Um, an ancient angelic being. Uh, Satana will be of great use, especially for PvE with her powerful buff of PvE. increasing allies' fire damage. Some of the other characters had some fire damage, so maybe they'll pair to good together. You let us oh, know. Oh, like her and Jean. Her first passive is called Aura of the Noble. This increases energy attack and decreases basic damage received. Her second passive is called Angel's Wrath. Um... Which could be another like cool club name. Yeah. But anyway, this increases chain hit damage when attacking, ignores target dodge rate by a percentage, and increases skill damage and increases bonus damage as well. All right. It's that time again. Sounds a little bit good. more trivia. So she's just going to be like a All right, guys. So before 3RL takes a closer look at her new angelic moveset, True. let's get another question going. True. Satana was a member of which super group? Here's a hint it was created by a certain Baron. Uh, All right, hopefully that wasn't a little too on the nose, but let's take a look at her skills in game. I don't know. I, I, have, I have no idea about Satana. Anybody know in the chat what, what group? Defenders? Floats in with style and grace. Let's Thunder, go right Thunderbolt? into it. Let's see her flying. See, she seems, I don't know. Oh, she's fast, Maybe it's too. just the way Angel was Oh, moving. the hands she are seems really to cool. She's quick, but like, I Damn. Least, like, both oh, her hands are glowing thing? with this little white flame particle oh yeah her group was these <laughs> right. nuts guys yeah first for sure. skill is called uh -huh. angel good job, flame guys. yeah i heard she was on slugma guys good job all righty this causes fire damage based on energy oh, attack it's really bad I'll turn off the counter as always that skill looks so bad one more time that's oh, angel it's like Gene's first skill number two again hearing from you announcer just let me know call it out when you're like that's my favorite move i think i already know but skill number two this is a really angel nice portrait arrow of salvation sorry that's good wow Oh, that looks sick! Like the little whip back there. That's better. It looks like it's coming from heaven. That's pretty sick. <laughs> this that one applies uh, burn and deals additional percentage of fire damage every second, and paralysis and fire damage based on energy attack. All right, moving on to skill number three. Okay. Let's go right here. This is called flame of purification. Oh, yeah. that looks cool. Like I said, in this update, there's a lot of cool little particle effects going on. Yeah, 10 I love that it's like, flame, guard. it's like white flame. Like, that's pretty dope. Yeah, it looks like righteous flames, fire. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this causes burn. Does additional percentage of fire damage every one second. A small percentage decrease of fire resistance, as well as granting barrier and increase to all basic attacks. Mm. All right. Let's looks see. like jewel with oh, horns. This big group over here. All right. Skill number four is called Judgment Sword. Oh, that yeah. looks so oh, sick. Dude, that one's probably my favorite. I Why is she only heavy. gonna be a support? These skills look so sick. With that one. Judgment Sword applies uh, burn while dealing additional percentage oh. of fire damage for every one second, as well as silence and capacitation. Excuse me. Removes active buffs from target and decreases all basic defenses by a small percentage. This is like so Dark Souls. Recovery to self. And it's like and increasing she's just all basic be a attacks, support. defense, speed, crit rate while moving Damn. capacitation and 100% chance to grant all Damn. damage and immunity. I think this one coming up is my favorite. This is That's skill number sick. 5. It's called Grand Atonement. We're going to try to go from the left to uh, the right What's to the left. It's a V-pad. Right. Let's go. Using the V-pad, of course. Ooh. Nice little motion there. Oh, 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 okay, we got them. Yeah, that looks okay, sick. Let's try one more time from like right here. Yeah, let's you gotta love skills that you could utilize that V-pad movement, dude. That's pretty sick. Love the V-pad, bro. It's got charm. Oh, That's sick skill. All, <laughs> all right. Uh, Grand Atonement. Again, you can use the V-pad to use this skill. 
causes burn while dealing additional percentage of fire damage, as well as charm an additional percentage of mind damage. In recovery, equal to percentage of DOT damage, as well as snare, and uh, applies invincible and increased basic damage by a percentage for one So attack. she has a charm-based heal like Enchantress. Right. Her next skill is that awakened skill, and it's called Princess of Hell. She and is getting awakened have with someone else join in here, Hell Storm who has also received a potential transcendence, joins in this potential transcendence skill. Check it out, shall we? Okay. There he like he slams down and she rains some meteors. Oh, that's pretty sick. Gigabomb, <clears throat> Oppenheimer. Right, let's check it out one more time, shall we? Yo. Together they summon the hell ground and drop meteors on their enemies, causing burn and additional percentage <laughs> Vegeta of fire Vegeta up in this bitch. Paralysis. And applies critical rate and sick. critical damage increase. Ignores target dodge rate by a percentage and a chance to penetrate with super armor, barrier, shield, all damage immune and invincible, as well as granting invincible and removing all the buffs while increasing all basic attacks by percentage and like. basic defenses. I like. All right. Will we go three for three? Three for three. You got this. Hellstorm man. disappeared Four, with like a puff of fire. Three that was pretty and cool. five. Pretty cool touch. Let's go. Okay. Four, no three, pressure. Five. No pressure. Three arrow. Four, three, and five. Oh, oh, it was early. Good, she doesn't seem right. that proper anymore. Right? Doesn't right. seem there's too many hits on four, on four. Three, five, well, maybe, maybe, nice. maybe, maybe. Still got it. But not that not many perfect, hits, eh? Not perfect, but that's okay. Nah, 71 All hits doesn't do it then. anymore, bro. The time has come. Unless she has a lot of damage. Let's see if you figured out we'll which see. super group Satana was a member of. All right, guys, so we have a few answers here Thunder in the chat. Bolts? Maybe the hint was a little bit too on the nose, but... One of the funnier ones we got is Jara says Spice Girls. That is a super group, but that is unfortunately not the group she was part of. Come on, Eduardo Chad. de la Rosa says Strange Spice Academy. Girls. Nope, that's not it. We have Anime Bleach Babe with the correct answer. It's Thunderbolts. So she was an answer. Oh, actually, hold on. Jay Taco says so... Powerpuff Girls. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, the it's definitely the, the Thunderbolts. That's a part of the super group she was part of. Take it away, 3RL. Alrighty, thank you for... Uh partaking in our trivia we hope you enjoyed the april fool's day with the fallen angel and the ascended trend uh ascended satana okay now we see thanos and let me see the new game mode all righty hey. last and certainly not least we have another powerful super villain thanos has acquired a new uniform through this update meet king thanos Yo, the sword's on fire the entire universe under his reign attacking his enemies with the Beautiful Twilight Sword, which is he's got a Twilight Sword too. Other characters in general, dude. That what the sword hell? Is epic. It looks larger than him, dude. And he's pretty everybody got the Twilight up. Sword now. Everybody's got a Twilight he's, Sword. He's uh, come out of retirement and no longer just a uh, wise farmer. He has an epic beard. Um, I'm taking that beard. Yeah, I like the coat. Kind of matches. Makes it seem like he's going to some cold environments and whatnot. But <clears throat> I'm a big fan of this look. Uh, Thanos will dominate in PvP. Dominate. And he summons, he will also be summoning the Cosmic Ghost Rider for one of his attacks. <gasps> and uh, his enemies will be ruthlessly attacked with his younger self. So, more on that later, you'll see. What? Um, his first passive is called Hero Slayer. And this applies super armor, increasing all basic defenses, increasing basic damage dealt to superhero, the superhero faction. <clears throat> okay. And there's activation when hit, will apply as a self for recovery, a percentage of HP. Uh-huh. All right. Last trivia question of the evening. Um, before we check out the Mad Titan the skills. The Hulk skill would have been Let's crazy. Let's go later <laughs> With All the right, chains. I mean, horror head announcer, that's me. <laughs> All right, guys, who among you guys knows your Marvel lore? This is actually a really interesting question, and I never gave it any thought myself, but the question is, what causes Thanos' skin to be purple? And it's, oh, it's not a mutation. eating a lot of eggplants, I can assure you. Right? It's a, what he's causes he's, Thanos' like skin to be purple? So, all right, guys, let's get those he's answers like in the chat. On the, right, on the planet Titan. Know. Wasn't he like a freak? And we'll jump straight into his skills. He's a deviant. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all like right. a mutation or whatever. He's a deviant. Grapes. Okay. Thanos. He's also very tall. The deviant um, gene. I don't know if he's... He looks taller than Beta Ray Bill. I can't uh, really tell. Yeah, Beta Ray Bill was also was pretty menacing. Good job, chat. He's like pretty tall. Like, I love uh, that he's just holding this... Like, yeah, he's just sword running it around. Man. Like, imagine like this guy not, running I'm not reading that. Uh, so I'm not reading any of the eggplant-based comments, guys. Cool down. Off. Despicable. All right. <clears throat> Jumping right into it. Skill number one is called Warp Blast. Warp. 2,300 people watching, by the Damn. way, guys. 
That's insane. All right. Warp Blast. I haven't seen this many people watching the stream in a uh, long time. Applies to enemies. Up, Stun and removing all buffs from target. Okay. Uh, applies itself a percentage of HP increase, a chance to penetrate with super armor, barrier, shield, and all damage immune, as well as invincible, removing all wow. debuffs and an energy. Uh, oh, he's got a cleanse high on his percentage first of skill. physical attack with that energy damage. Damn. Skill number two is called Twilight of Titans. Nobody wants to miss Thanos the in the left. new game mode. True. All right, announcer, you gotta let me know again. Call out that favorite skill when you see it. <clears throat> For right. sure, dude. All right, Twilight of Titans. Let's go. Oh, nice. there's like multiple swords coming in there. That looks sick. This causes burn, stun, and energy damage with a high percentage of physical attack. That looks pretty right. good. This is I'm not gonna <clears> lie. <throat> Excuse me. All right, skill number Let's three. Go. Oh, Ghost Rider. See... Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. Uh, Ghost Rider, come in here and join the fight. Let's check it out, shall we? Oh, and he screams. You can he, like, barely dive see bombs him. into it. That's kind of cool. You see him coming out from the right side there. Bam. Takes a few hits. I Lots hear him. Fire damage. Oh. Super, super <clears throat> this causes burn and paralysis while ignoring immunity. Applies itself. Uh, increased all basic attacks, defense, speed, and crit rate by a percentage, and removes incapacitation with a high chance to grant all damage immunity. Okay. All right. Skill number four. It's Osmond called Ghost Twilights Rider. of the Multiverse. All right. Let's check it out. Multiverse? Oh, he snaps. Raining down. Yo, this is crazy. So I assume from, from all over the multiverse, different the versions. The snap is back, boy. This causes time freezing as well as burn and deals additional uh, fire damage for every one second and decreases all basic defenses by a percentage as well. Yo, he gets uh, time freeze now. Causes which removes active debuffs from target and applies and increases all basic attacks, all basic defenses, and speed. The snap sound all effect right. sounds so nice. True. True. Favorite one yet, announcer? I mean, I like that last one because it kind of looks like the game like messes up, but it's actually his time freezing. Yeah, I like that. All right. Skill number five is called Seasoned Slayers. Yo, he's coming Let's in, go. old Thanos. Yo! Got in his past self coming in to fight with him. He throws the sword he's over to him? The portal. Let's see, try to did he throw it. the yeah, sword over to him? I think he did. Uh, this applies stun, he fracture, did! incapacitation, decreases all basic defenses by percentage. Uh, stacks and is, ignores immunity. Also grants invincible immunity to all debuffs and excluding bosses. It ignores enemies damage uh, by That's percentage. That's crazy. And lastly, we're gonna check out his ultimate they swapped skill, weapons. which is called Endless Void. Yeah, yeah, those animations are clean. Pretty menacing, if you do say. Clean, bro. Right, Endless Void. Yeah, we've seen this one before. This decreases nice, all uh, speeds nice of their enemies by percentage. Stun, fear, and incapacitation. Um, as well as to applying to self, ignore target dodge rate, uh, high chance to that penetrate with super with armor, barrier shield, crazy nice. invincible, granting invincible, removing all A lot of swords in this update, eh? Thanos got the sword, Satana's got that gigantic holy attack. sword. All right, we already messed up the, the streak, but we're just going to keep on moving into the combo. I like that. Three for four. All right, we got three, four, and five, the dev recommended combo. There we go. Okay. Ooh, maybe three for four. Friendly? That's better than I did last time. I think That's last stream I like messed up. Bro, the iPad's times. lagging. <laughs> well, there you have it. There's 107 the hits, not bad. Thanos from Thanos wins. Yeah, I think Angel uh, has And with a that, let's jump into the one. last bit of trivia from the chat and see what okay. we got. Last bit of trivia. All right, oh, guys. Yeah, so I'm DVD. seeing a lot of interesting answers in the chat. Some of them legit made me laugh out loud. So thanks, guys, for all those awesome answers. I'm going to give a shout out to like the people that I see, at least in my version of oh, the yeah, chat. Oh, yeah, X-Force uh, team up got, got another tier quickest, four. Which me leads me to believe Wolverine, that they Cable, didn't use Storm, Google. So Angel. <laughs> here is, we have a shout out to Nehemiah <laughs> Nicholson True. says, the Deviant Gene. That's the correct answer, but Easy. here's some funny ones. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Destiny Ray Passion says, lack of oxygen. The wow. King says, eggplant. Uh, <laughs> the user Goofy says ate too much potatoes. I don't know how. Per to there's purple your... potatoes. Oh, know. there's purple yeah, potatoes. There's You're right. Yeah, okay, that, potatoes, yeah. True. Oh, good job. I don't know your <laughs> take Thanks everybody for uh, <laughs> participating in our uh, little trivia. Good trivia. Oh, just a little bit, you know, some laughs, some fun. Yep. Uh, never really thought about uh, why Thanos was purple. You know, there's always kinds of there's like there's a talking raccoon. There's uh, Howard the Duck. Yeah, there's um, cats that eat stuff. Yeah. What is it? Goose? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we've got a little bit of everything. True. So we hope you look forward to the mighty new looks of a Thanos, cat? a supervillain who only sees victory in his path. 
All right, now the new game mode, boys. Okay, let's just go through this next section yeah, real yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah. We're going to move on to the uniform options for the April Fool's uniforms and the new uniform of Thanos. Okay. Starting right into it. Before Angel we switch, good, I just got to say I really like their uh, their little portraits right yeah, there. Portraits They'll do really clean. well. They have a nice, you know, uh, color palette, I will say. It's almost like the Easter colors, if yeah, you think about it. Definitely. It's pastel, yeah. All right. So the first options for Angel, the Fallen one, include Shadow Shell, Domino, in silver the surfer bad optionals bro and then we have uh options for satana the ascended one our those are Arachnid, bad optionals too uh luna snow and <laughs> black panther from marvel studios black panther wakanda forever <laughs> and lastly here are some options for the thanos. thanos from thanos wins which include iron man back to basics that's okay uh iron professor x is good. and spider gwen from spider-man across but the spider verse Doctor strange and hyperion is um, the uniform cell will apply to the new uniform of thanos and all uniform options and please note that the april fool's uniforms will not be discounted yep. and please check on the event notice at the community forum for more details on the uniform list okay uh yeah let us know what your favorite uniform is what you're looking forward to and uh, yeah, we're getting ready to mode. move into the next area. The game mode. The game mode. Finally. Okay. Here is whoa, the whoa, tier whoa, whoa, four whoa, whoa, whoa. exclusive content that many agents have been looking for. Okay. The tier four content for the March update is World Boss Legend Plus. Okay, so she is. We know that some agents may not be able to enjoy this since it's a tier four exclusive boss. Okay. But fear not. And please keep in mind that we're constantly preparing more content. Okay. We assure you that there will be more updates that all of our agents can enjoy. So please stay tuned. But okay. we have prepared this update mainly around the world boss, which uh, was voted as a favorite content by many agents. It's always voted. So let's go in the details of okay. the new T4 content. The new tier four exclusive world boss, Black Swan, has been released with the unpre unprecedented powerful difficulty of Legend Plus. Right. You can see it right here. I like the Got book the little seven bar at the bottom. I like there. that. To enjoy Loving a Legend Plus difficulty, agents have to clear story stage eight three, possess more than three tier four heroes. Sure. And uh have to clear all of the challenges. So <clears throat> bear with me, because we're gonna try out the new world boss black swan together, shall we? Alright, moving on to the next screen. We're ready. So, I'm going to take Thanos with us. Let's grab Thanos. You already used him. Oh, okay. We're going to switch it up. None of these characters have uniforms, Doc. You're going to get clapped. All right. Don't mind me. Only have a few heroes because this is a new build. Bro, cut to commercial. Cut to commercial. You're going to get clapped, bro. All right. So ideally, we wanted to run with Thanos, his new uniform, the Wise Harvester uniform as a leader, with a main dealer of Loki and a Mystique as support. Um, and just to note, Wise Harvester uniform get, uh, is going to get a buff with this update and will perform much better in PvE. So again, sorry for the mix-up on the team. They're buffing, the, they're buffing his, anyway, his so farmer uniform? A quick run through. Oh, that's interesting. That's good. They don't even have their tier four strikers, bro. Right. Go back. Go back, bro. Let's go. No, bro. Go back. Go back. Go back. Bro, go back. You have to put a tier four striker, brother. And let us know in the chat um, who you'd pick for your teams. They're going to uh, make this we'll look so hard because he's using it. a bad team. Okay. Well, okay. The library of worlds. Okay. We don't want spoilers Check on the story. The story. No, here. stop. Stop. I don't want to see this 3RL. No, 3RL, stop. No, I'm, I'm not looking. I don't want to look. I don't want to be spoiled, guys. I want to experience the story for myself. Let me know when the story's over, guys. I'm looking at the chat. I can't see anything but the chat, guys. Tell me when to take my hands Alrighty. down. It's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing genuinely... a few people in the chat here being excited about that uh, Wise Harvester uniform buff. So, yeah, yeah guys, that's uh, awesome. I'm yeah. really happy to hear about that. Again, I was doing some testing okay, Library earlier. Of Worlds. Oh, my God. Um, she looks good, With though. the other team that I spent some time buffing up. But okay. now we're just going to jump in and take a quick field. look. I am probably not going to be able to do Black much damage to destroy the force field. Okay. here because I have a team that Creating wasn't really ready, twister. but you can kind of see what's going on here. Okay. 
Uh, but yeah, that was something we definitely did with the Wise Harvester, so we hope uh, players can look forward to that with some of the other April Fool's costumes. Brother, what she is that this shield crazy thing shield thing going on right ass. here? Again, I was so oh my god, he's only filled, he's filled up so little of the shield? Up, but that's okay. Okay, he's she dead. Show a quick showcase of some of her moves. Okay. And absolutely failing here because... Um, yeah, you don't have any. Yeah, uniforms. this stuff is top tier content, and uh, you don't have any uniforms. You don't have any tier ready, four but skills. That's okay, we keep it moving. As we always say, just please bear with us. This is actually a live stream, so yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is me failing miserably, but that's no, okay. okay. I just want to see what happens when you break the shield. Hope some of your uh, top tier players out there have a little bit okay, more. Okay, the tornadoes here. But tornadoes we're seem kind of different ahead, since we're definitely losing. Ah, press it. here. Let's just go ahead. Yeah. No. But stay tuned, guys. There's some more world boss updates. <clears throat> okay, okay. More, more, so more. So that was a little bit of a preview. Again, not the best uh, team for that. So sure. let us know in the chat what team you want to use. Good segue. And uh, we'll move over to some other the curious, uh, what agents might be curious about with the rewards and improvements. So let's okay. go into that. Yeah, yeah. Next, we want to. That's that's really important for sure. <sighs> All righty. After that, um, bad run. Let's go ahead and talk okay. about some of those rewards. You can acquire tier two, three, and four materials from World Boss Legend uh, plus Black Swan. Okay. That will be more than the other World Bosses, and this includes CTP of Refinement and Insight can also be acquired uh, besides the CTP rewards of other bosses. Um, okay. When you challenge a new World Boss Black Swan, uh, we look forward to hearing about your tips as well so i really like about this community is we really see a lot of um forum posts and uh content around how players can improve themselves so we always look forward to seeing that kind of stuff mm -hmm. great content creators all righty moreover various improvements for the world boss have been made uh first of all the special world boss loots are now available after the first clear reward for all stages above stage five in world boss first legends clear uh world boss loot with higher grades drop at the higher stages so the higher grades of the loot and higher chance for items such as ctps and premium comic cards agents can also acquire the exclusive artifact of their retrospective bosses except for noel and mephisto as a first clear reward every 10th stage. Oh, they're giving Gene artifact uh, and so Gore artifact. If you aim higher for the stage, you'll get a higher That's rank big. artifact. That's nice. Please for note free. as well that the first clear re uh, records have been reset, so agents who have already acquired their first clear reward can challenge for new rewards. That's good. A lot of free artifacts. Yeah, we're seeing a lot more excitement in the chat about all of these increased rewards, and stay That's tuned. Awesome. There's a lot more changes yeah. to come. Um, all right. Next up. What did alleviate? We have another little change here. We have some different aspects of the world boss difficulties have been reduced. Uh, the world boss unlock challenges for Noel and Mephisto, Infinity, Ultron, and Gore have been reduced. Good. So there's a much more simplified unlock condition which will apply compared to previous That's good. That's complicated good. That's good. Changes, uh, challenges. Uh, that way, agents can quickly challenge world boss legend. I climb up, yeah. Also, the difficulty for Infinity Ultron and Gore have been reduced to be similar to that of Noel and Mephisto. Oh, wow. This is also related to the acquisition of Titan's records, uh, which we'll go ahead and go over in a moment. You also have been changes to made to Dark Phoenix and King the Conqueror as well. The pattern of the last phase of Dark Phoenix has been simplified. In the legacy, uh, the lengthy animation of Kang the Conqueror that many agents have mentioned has been shortened. Okay. And some patterns can now be skipped for a shorter, clear time. Okay. I don't know if I All like those right. last. Two. And speaking of those Titans records, let's oh, talk about yeah. the acquisition of those bad boys. Okay. So um, they've doing, been improved, and hopefully, this is something agents have been this is good. Uh, hoping for. Now that a certain type of Titan Records drop chance is higher based on world bosses Null, Mephisto, Affinity Ultron, and Gore. Great. Agents no longer have to clear world boss ultimate to acquire specific types of Titan mm -hmm. Records uh, more easily. So challenge Null for Titan's Records of Combat, Mephisto for Blast, Infinity Ultron for Speed, and Gore for Universal for better drop chances. What about chances. Kang and Gene? And uh, for this, the difficulty of Null, Mephisto, Infinity Ultron, and Gore have been uh, adjusted 
uh, as well. Okay. So agents who were unable to clear Infinity Ultron and Gore can now challenge them. Okay. Okay, true. The reason why I don't like changing um, Kang and Jean is because they should still be difficult. Like, if anything, everything's getting easier because characters are getting stronger anyways. And we're getting swords and, and premium cards and stuff, So and team-up collections. So there's no need to make it e those All later righty. bosses easier. Uh, thanks for that little intermission. Just to get back to the screen here. Um, let's go ahead and take a look between both these here. Uh, we understand that most of you select world bosses based on today's world boss. Yep. Even if you need blast, and you, if your today's world boss is gore, you, you may play glo gore, not Mephisto. So to help with that, um, it means null, but it's okay. We've separated today's world boss from legend to ultimate. Yo, that's huge. More Titans records. Um, in addition, that's great. We've had a new system for agents who are not able to acquire Titans records despite the changes. So if you check out right here, you have a nice little selector. Uh, Titans records to agents who have didn't acquire any Titans records even after clearing the world boss ten times. So basically, so just you're guaranteed a book every two times, days. You can uh, select. You're your guaranteed a book record. every two days. That's excellent. <clears throat> and with that, we hope the changes will help agents, and we'll continue to do our best so that agents can keep enjoying. Huge world W boss. Min minimum, minimum one book every two days. Minimum. Big, big, big change All for two. Righty three, so. then. We have looked into the main changes of the March update so far. There are more details and improvements that were not discussed in the live stream, so please check out the update details yeah. and notices that will be posted on the Titan Record forum. Yeah. And then thanks to everyone who stuck around to the very end. Okay, we get the coupon it's code. It's time now. for the event coupon code. And coupon. as you know, if you've been here before, the coupon code can be used in the main lobby screen. Go to settings, info, and coupon for Android users. And if you're an iOS and Apple user like myself, you go on the forum. Usually Sumpert is entered into the chat now. The coupon code is Black Swan. Black Swan is the go. coupon code. If you're iOS, this is you have valid to go to until website. 326, 759 I don't have the link for the website. AM Sorry, guys. PDT, uh, changing the time there. Usually so Miriam posts it, but Miriam's not sure here. Make sure you get that before it expires. And there you have it. We did it. We made it through the March update live stream. Again, apologize for the, the showcase with Black Swan. I was trying to be... Uh, prepared, and I was fighting some other uh, world bosses. I'm like, oh, I'm going to do really good. Uh, yeah, hey, that was a new mistake. But man. anyway, hopefully you got a chance to at least see a you little bit of it. did a good job, Thrill. You crushed it, so, man. No worries. Um, let us know once the update comes out what your thoughts are. We'll be looking forward to those. And with that, thank you so much. Um, be sure to follow our social media channels, uh, forums, or everything Marvel, Future Fight. I'm going to take it over to announcer. I feel like I've been talking for a few minutes straight, so... Take it away, announcer. Let's get into your goodbyes, shall we? No, thank you, 3RL. And like for some context, as 3RL mentioned, yeah, we have these accounts wiped, and then we start them fresh on this test account. So, yeah, there was some uh, mix-ups yeah, uh, mix here up, on right? our end. But also, honestly, thank you guys so, so much for all the positive feedback in the comments. This kind of reiterates and re-energizes us here in the U.S. office. Uh, as I always mention, please keep that feedback coming in. As you guys saw from today's update, a lot of that is from us relaying the information over to our developer side. And we are always, always, always listening, guys. So please True. don't, as I think my word of the day is always like, it doesn't fall on deaf ears. So we're always listening to you guys. We're always Phrase watching content day. creators, right. forum posts, all the comments and the videos. So we're always listening. We're trying to improve the game as much as we can. So yeah, take it away through our route. Thanks, guys, for joining into the live stream as always. <sighs> Thank you, announcer. Just needed a moment to just... Just uh, take a breath. Anyway, <laughs> good night, everyone. Right, Thank Jarrell. you again, as the announcer said, for joining us, spending your Monday evening with us, and checking out all the updates for the Marvel Future Fight uh, update V990. So, thank you. I appreciate you. Good night, everyone. This is 3RL signing off. Hey, peace out, 3RL. See you, brother. Okay, boys, that was pretty big. Not bad. So... Um, not the, the way that I would react to this live stream is basically, I think it's like the same way that a lot of people react to the Diablo four campfire chat. The changes are good and they're going in the right direction, but I wish they had done more. Um, and this is honestly the, this is honestly the most common criticism of Marvel future fight is, I... is that.
you know, we, we, we like the changes that they're making for sure, but they need to make more changes. They do need to make more changes. Um, so it seems like, just to recap here, it seems like um, Black Swan can drop any, any reforged CTP except for Conquest, um, Rage, and Veteran. So besides those three reforged CTPs, she can drop all of the rest of them, which is not bad, right? That's not bad. Then we have the book Pity, which is really good. It means you get, you're get you guaranteed to get a book every two days. So at most, it would take you 20 days um, to tier three a character. So three weeks is the absolute max time that it would take. And it's probably impossible for it to only take, it's probably impossible for it to take the full three weeks. So that's actually really good. Like I suspect that it's probably going to take players closer to two weeks now um, to, to get up enough books to tier to tier three a new character. So that should be a lot of new, um, like a lot of new tier threes. Like a lot of players will be able to kind of build up more of their account, which is nice, um, especially with more tier three materials from, sh you know, from shit like this. Uh, and from like story mode and stuff like that. And then it kind of just snowballs. That's good. Um, however, I'm not like, uh, I'm, it's kind of like, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of lame that this is the tier four game mode that they thought we wanted. Um, they did say when they introduced it, they did say that they're working on other content and this is not the only content. So I don't mean to like read into it right away, but here, let's listen to what they said again. Finally, here's the tier four exclusive content that many agents have been looking for. The tier four content for the March update is World Boss Legend Plus. Uh -huh. We know that some agents may not be able to enjoy this since this was some, some agents may not be able to enjoy this. It's a tier four exclusive boss. It's tier four only. Fear not. And please fear not and please please keep in mind that they're constantly preparing more content they're constantly preparing more content we assure you that there will be more updates that all of our agents can enjoy so please stay tuned yeah so him going out of his way to say that remember everything he says is scripted right everything he says is scripted he has to follow the script from marvel so right from from marvel and net marvel so they wanted him to say that, which means that they're probably going to drop another piece of content. They usually they usually like dropping content for the anniversary or like right after the anniversary. Um, so we might get a new game mode next month or like in May, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just find like they don't always say that. They don't always say that. So I don't know. I found it a little bit interesting that he, that he did go ahead and say that, but I could just be reading too much into it. Um, I'm, yeah, I, I don't think a lot of people are going to be that excited to, to, to do Black Swan, to be honest. Um, it is kind of annoying that it's just like another world boss. Like it, it gets, it gets kind of repetitive after a while, but, um, it'll be interesting. Like, I don't know. We'll see how the fight looks. It seems like at the beginning of the fight, you can only deal instinct damage, which is why you have to use tier fours because tier fours have a lot more instinct. And that actually, like, that does make sense logically because if you look at the tier two to tier three upgrade, you get a lot of base stats. But then you look at the tier three to tier four upgrade, and the base stat increase is not very high, but the instinct increase is very high. You go from like 500 instinct to like 3,500 instinct. You gain like, you know, six, six, 600 percent more instinct. Um, so that makes sense that the, the mechanic here has to do with instinct. We'll see. We'll see if it's an interesting fight. I don't really like the way this looks. Honestly, this UI is pretty fucking ugly. Um, this looks really old and ugly. And I, like, I don't know, like, I don't know who decided that it would be like, this is just a small thing for me, but I'm very, you know, whatever, anal about it. You have three different shapes. Look at this. Look at this. Like, the, where is the art director? You have square, right? You have square lines, square corners. Then you have rounded corners, and then you have fucking diamond corners. 
Guys, are you trying to give me a stroke? Like, what's going on here? P make up your fucking mind. Why do we need three different types? Two is two is enough, right? So this should be changed to be square or to be diamond. But this is like this looks like a 2010 game. This looks like a my first project kind of thing. It looks really ugly. And the thing is that the UI and the rest of the game is really nice. So it's kind of annoying that this looks so clunky and ugly. Anyways, I, maybe you didn't see it before and now you can't unsee it, but this is what I have to deal with. So I'm, I have to make you guys see it. It just looks really ugly to me. I, I just, I was like, my eyes were bleeding looking at this shit. Um, and then the rewards. The rewards, again, we've heard this before, right? We've heard this so many times. More, more, more materials from the new boss. That's what they said about Gene. That's what they said about Kang. Who knows? I think if you play Null and then you play Black Swan, you'll notice a big difference. Because Null's going to drop like 20 black, 20 carbonadium, and she's going to drop like 35. So you're like, holy shit. But they didn't, it seems like they didn't fix the problem of uh, lower stages and higher stages having the same rewards, which basically means there's no reason to push beyond stage one of Black Swan unless. Unless she drops her artifact. If Black Swan drops her artifact like Ultron and now like Gore and, and Jean, then that's amazing. But they didn't say if Kang is getting this as well. So are they going to also give away Kang's artifact? Like, we have to see. This is a really good change for sure. Giving the artifacts is a really good change. Um, but we have to see if they're going to be consistent with it or if it's, if it's like if it's just Jean and Gore because they're older. And then when they release the next World Boss Legend, they'll give us, they'll put Kangs in. Like, I don't know how it works, right? Um, making the World Boss easier is fine, I guess. Like, it's not a big deal. I think it's great that they made Ultron and Gore easier. I, I don't think they really needed to make Gene and Kang easier. Like, it wasn't that, it wasn't that hard, but I don't know. It's fine. It's whatever. Um, it's, it's not that big of a deal. And then the streamline challenges is great. That's fantastic. That's a really good change. That's a really, really good change. And then this is a really good change too. They're each going to drop like focused books. Um, I think this is a really good change. The problem is though, I have to say the problem is players who are trying to make the most out of their farming are still not going to want to play these guys because especially not the first three because they drop significantly less tier four material. Like you you can notice it. When I play when I play null, it's like 20 to 25 carbonadium before the bonus. And gore is like 25 to 35 bonus. So that's like a like his minimum his maximum is his minimum almost. And then it's even better for Gene and, and, and Kang, right? So I like this change, but I also think it's kind of I think players are still going to want to play the hardest legend to get the most carbo. You know, they're going to want to play as efficiently as possible. I guess I guess if I really needed a book, I would play one of these guys. Like if I really needed a book for for a thing, which is still it's it's still really good. It's not it's not bad at all. It's not a bad thing. It just doesn't necessarily fix the problem. Um like it would be nice, like this is what I was saying before, but it would be nice if like stage 99 of null had the same drop as stage one of gore or whatever, because then I could play null without feeling like I'm sacrificing carbonadium. Right. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just, that's just me. I don't know. I don't know how many players feel that way. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm in the minority. And then the, the, the bet, the biggest change, I don't know why they didn't show it. They didn't, he didn't click this little refresh thing, but probably one of the biggest changes is that is that they segmented the world boss of the day. So now you have the world boss of the day only for legend mode. And then you have world boss of the day only for ultimate mode, which means you now have a one in seven. You have a one in seven chance of getting whichever legend you want every day. Hopefully they didn't increase the gold cost because that would be really cringe. But what's one in seven? Um, 14%, so like a 14% chance. That's more than double what it was before. So before this update, you had a 6.6% .6 chance. So that's more than double the chances from before. I think that's good. 
yeah, I, I do think that's a really good change. Um, yeah. And then you have the pity. And then that's it. Yeah. Well, plus whatever's in the patch notes, right? We, we don't know what's going to be in the patch notes. But only five runs per day? Yeah, I don't I don't really mind having only five runs per day. I don't really, I don't really see the point of having more than five runs. Um it's fine. Five five runs a day is fine. I don't think they should increase the amount of farming you have to do. If they wanted it like if they wanted to do that, they should just increase the rewards instead of increasing the um the number of farms. How do you get Black Swan? You have to beat her ten times to get her bios. Her bios will drop from this fight against her. Five in ultimate, five in legend. Why would, why do you want to play ultimate? I don't understand. It's like, it's like wanting to play world boss ultimate after you get world boss legend is like those guys who graduate middle school and they move on to high school, but they're losers in high school. So they go back to middle school and they hit on the 13 year old girls and the 12 year old girls. And they're like, Oh, I'm so cool. I'm in high school. I, I'm a big guy. I'm, I'll be able to drive next year. Meanwhile, they actually get bullied when they go to high school and they're just like f fucking dweebs. I, I, I don't understand the fascination with wanting to like, especially for players who have been playing this game for a long time. And I have to say that these days the devs should be focusing on veterans we had to play World Boss Ultimate for years, bro. Like, World Boss Ultimate has been in the game since 2016. That's like eight years with this shit. I don't want to. I don't want to go back and play World Boss Ultimate, bro. I don't. I don't know about you, bro, but I'm. I'm done with that, man. I played Thanos for years, li literally for years. You know. So yeah, man. I don't know. World Boss Ultimate has Odin's blessings and Shield archives. <sighs> Okay, man. I don't know. I, I think some of you guys are, are kind of cooked. Uh, if you think that if you think that world if you think that shield archives and and Odin's blessings are better than tier four materials, then okay. Then don't don't text don't don't message you know don't DM me and say hey Alex I've been playing for two years but my my roster sucks I can't complete any of the content what's going on? Oh man, what do you want me to tell you? You you were playing World Boss Ultimate when you should be playing World Boss Legend. Like it's, it's right there in, in front of you and you just don't want to listen. You know, I, I don't know. I feel like some, some MFF players are just stuck in the past. They're just like, I refuse to acknowledge tier fours. I'm just going to put my head in the sand and, and pretend that tier three is the, is the max. And then I'm just going to like, you know, play with one hand tied behind my back. I, I, don't, I just personally, I don't get it. I, I think they should just delete world boss ultimate personally. They should just delete world boss ultimate. Just delete it. It's boring. World boss legends way, way better you know just delete world boss ultimate put the odin's blessing somewhere else whatever i don't care um but just focus on the content that's good man the world boss ultimate's so outdated it's so it's such outdated content it's way too easy it's just it's like the bosses just roll over bro even 99 you can just one shot that shit in two seconds it, you could we could one shot that shit like four years ago it's so trash just nuke just oppenheimer that shit and move the reward somewhere else honestly i don't even want i don't even want odin's blessings in, in world boss. I want the Odin's blessings somewhere else. I think they should be somewhere else. They should put Odin's blessings in PVP or something like that. Uh, they should put Odin's blessings in, you know, uh, I don't know, Alliance conquest or s some other fucking game mode. You know, it's like this constant, this constant glazing of world boss is so annoying. And it honestly, it's what kills this game because players like I'm I know I'm going to get bored of this. I know I sound really hype now and I and I am happy for the changes for sure, but I'm not going to be hype playing Black Swan in 6 months. I'm not because it's going to be the same shit 6 months. I'm going to play her every day for like 3 4 months uh, and I'm going to have fun and then after 3 4 months I'm not going to have fun anymore. And so it's like they need to stop glazing one game mode, but they keep glazing it and so then the players are like, "Huh?" I guess that's my favorite game mode because you guys just you guys don't update any of the other game modes. So I guess World Boss is my favorite game mode. And then the devs see that and they're like, "Wow, everyone likes World Boss. Guys, let's keep making World Bosses." Well, no shit. The rest of the game gets neglected. You don't update any of the other game modes. You only update World Boss. What do you want us to say? Of course we're going to say World Boss. You polished this turd a thousand times. Of course it's the shiniest turd. Like you like are they are they that stupid?
<laughs> like it just blows my mind, man. It just actually blows my mind. But yeah, whatever. It's fine. Um, what would have been? You know, what would have been cool if they had put in uh, a mighty CTP pity as well. Like if you could get a mighty CTP after beating the boss fifty times, that would be really cool. And then you could like target farm specific mighty CTPs. That'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, man, I don't know. I, I really hope that they that they rework some PvP game mode soon, man. The PvP in this game is so bad. And it's like the the this is the tra this is the trajectory, okay? For players that stick around. I'm not talking about the players that quit after a week or a month. I'm talking about the players that stick around, okay? So the players that join the game and, and stick around, they start to build up their roster and they feel powerful. And they go through the PvE game modes and they feel powerful. And they're like, oh man, I'm beating Null. I'm beating Mephisto. I got my tier 4 Spider-Gwen. Look at her ass. Blah, blah, blah. And they're ex excited about the game, right? Oh man, I'm getting more story mode fragments. Oh wow, this is fun. I'm doing my dispatch. Blah, blah, blah. They're, they're going through the, the PvE content, right? And they're like chopping it down, chopping it down. And, and, it's, and it's true. Even if you're not good at the game, you just keep going. You keep chopping and the tree will fall, right? And this is this is the trajectory. They're like, they're having fun. They're having fun. They're having fun. And then they get to PvP. They're like, you know what? I've dominated PvE. It's time to take my powers to PvP. I'm going to finally check out what this PvP thing is. And they get fucking dicked. The, the, the dildo of, of uh, you know, the dildo of punishment rarely comes looped. And they get absolutely pulverized. And they're like, I'm not having fun anymore. And then, you know, some of them quit. Some of them stick around. And some of them are like, huh, why is PvP so, like, why, why is PvP so trash? And then they come to discover what we all know, which is that PvP is just so bad in this game. And the devs refuse to update it and refuse to buff rewards, etc. And it's just, it's crazy, man. It's so crazy. And it's sad because that's the normal progression. That is genuinely the normal progression. Players invest into a game. They invest into the PvE first of a game. And then later they move on into the PvP of that same game. Right? Um, like take any game. Take World of Warcraft. Take Diablo. Take any game, bro. You always go through the story first. You always, you always grind up your character against the PvE bosses. You want to check out the PvE content. And then once you're satisfied with that, you feel like you've gotten your money's worth. Then you look to PvP for like a more unique challenge, a more interesting challenge. And then the PvP is so bad in this game. And it just kills me. And they could make so much more money. And they could, they could keep so many more players interested in the game if they just made PvP more interesting. There's 250 fucking characters. We should be forced to use all of them. I should be forced to use Hulkling in PvP. Uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the live stream. I sure did. We peaked at like 2,400 viewers or something like that. 2,500 viewers. It was absolutely insane. I think it's the most viewers maybe ever uh, on a YouTube live stream. So thank you very much for being here for that. I really appreciate it. Um... I'll be back again in two weeks for the mid-month update. Uh, I think there's going to be a mid-month update anyways. I don't know. It's going to be... So the update's coming tomorrow night. And then there will be a mid-month update, I guess, on the 9th of April, uh, I think. Um, if there is, then I'll see you guys again for that live stream. If not, then I'll see you guys for a different live stream um, between now and, and the anniversary. Because the anniversary happens at the end of uh, April. So in about a, in about a month. So... Yeah, if you were thinking of taking a, a break from the game, I would say don't take a break right now because in a few days, they're going to announce the pre-anniversary login rewards. And then you just have a month straight, 30 days straight of login rewards. Those are pretty good. So yeah, if anything, you should... Um... Oh, I'm streaming tomorrow, right? Yes, I'm streaming tomorrow. That's right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Right, I mean, besides besides that, yeah, yeah. For sure, you know, for sure I'm streaming tomorrow night. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's just... Sorry, yeah, sorry. Uh, it's a given. It, sorry, it's just a, it's just a given for me. I'm just like I know I'm gonna stream tomorrow. Sorry, I meant like if you're not tuning in for the stream tomorrow, if you just tune in for the updates and then you leave again, which is fine, which is totally fine. If you're just if it's my bad, if you're just here for the the sort of like the the the, the reaction live streams where I'm I'm reacting to three RL, then I'll see you in two weeks. 
for everybody that's like hardcore into the live streams, because not everybody watches all the live streams. I understand that. Um, but for the hardcore live stream fans, I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll be live tomorrow at um, 3 a.m. I believe 3 a.m. Eastern. It's pretty fucking late, to be honest. It's about five hours from now. So 20, 29 hours, a day and five hours from now, I'll be live uh, again for us to experience the live stream. Go, We're going to go slam. Don't play World Boss after the reset, okay? So there's going to be a reset in 13 hours. Don't After the reset in 13 hours, don't play, don't play World Boss. Save your World Boss so that you can do, even if you're not going to beat Black Swan. Even if you even if you even if you only have null, save it because maybe the rewards are better. Plus you can start your book uh you can start your meter. You can get your meter up to 5. Trust me. Tell tell everybody you know that wasn't here on the live stream. Tell everybody. Don't play World Boss after the next reset. Wait until after the update. All right? Anywho, um there's also going to be patch notes coming out in about 5-6 hours. Um, so yeah, if you guys are awake for that, check that out. I'll have a video for you guys, uh, in about, uh, 11 hours tomorrow morning for the patch note breakdown. Okay. They did say something about premium cards and CTPs. I don't really know exactly what 3RL was saying. So I'm just going to wait for the patch notes. I didn't want to read too much into that. I think he could have just been talking about the, the, the booty boxes. Um, but I, but I genuinely don't know. I don't know where that screen was. But there was a screen that like the screen with Gene and stuff might have been like it might have been this that he was talking about with the booty boxes and the CTPs. I don't know what he was talking about with the with the premium cards. But yeah, don't play before the update. Don't play before the update. Yeah. But do you like do your world boss today? Like right now, I already did my world boss for today. I'm talking about the next reset. Don't do world boss. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Love yourself. Uh, be kind to yourself and then be kind to people around you. Treat other people the way that you want to be treated. That's the golden rule. Uh, and yeah, happiness to all of you. I'll see you tomorrow night. Peace out. Oh. <laughs>